All right, y'all, I just got a new package from Raw. Let me show you guys the products that were inside. So right here, we have an intro workout. So this right here is something I haven't done before. First time ever having an intro workout that was actually designed for your recovery, to drink inside the gym, for your hydration. This right here is 25 grams of carbs. So we have magnesium, chloride, sodium, potassium, cluster dextrin in the coconut water. So the dextrin is what is probably the most important thing inside of this product, which makes it the intro workout. And again, this is going to help fill you through the workout so give you a good amount of energy just from this supplement alone they want you to mix 12 to 16 fluid ounces of water if you're taking in dextrin such as what's in here it is recommended to always drink more waters you should be drinking one and a half to two gallons of water a day anyways mainly for the fellas out there but this right here is going to be a great product to use so enter a workout and then i was asked a question not too long ago about creatine so i do take creatine five grams daily but i get it from this supplement right here which is the pre workout and I needed to get a separate creatine simply because the raw pre that I have that I'm always consuming does not have creatine in it. So standalone creatine is going to be important to get in when your creatine is not inside of your pre workout or any of the other products that you're taking. So again, I was getting my creatine from this pre workout here, but on times that I want to use this pre workout, I need to make sure that I'm getting creatine in. So five grams a day is all you need. Something else cool that I got is this sleep aid right here. So this right here is pretty similar to what I do every single day because inside of here you have your zinc, your magnesium, your vitamin B, your vitamin C, your melatonin. You guys know I have a ton of vitamins in here. All that's right here and I take my melatonin before bed. I actually take 10 milligrams before bed. But this right here only has three milligrams. What's different about here is they have the new Gonda, which is pretty much ashwagandha, which I have in here in my cabinet but it's already provided inside of this supplement here. And then it also has some Hawthorne in there. And this is mainly so you can sleep better, sleep longer, even help you fall asleep if you're one of those folks who struggle with getting to sleep. So I'm gonna highly recommend any type of sleep aid. Like I said before, grabbing this product here, I was originally already doing my melatonin and I was doing my zinc, I was doing my magnesium, I was doing all the things necessary for me to be at rest, relaxation. And if you don't know, if your body is not resting and relaxing well, you're not gonna grow, you're not going to lose weight, fat, or anything of the such. Your body is not going to function how it's supposed to if you aren't recovering. So you need to make sure that you are reducing your stress levels and actually resting and getting some good sleep. EAAs already had those. And another thing that I picked up is Signal. So this right here is going to help you with your testosterone production. I have never taken this product before. So I've taken things similar to this, creatine obviously, intra workout obviously. But for this testosterone right here, I have not taken anything of the such. So there's an ingredient in here that they have called fat Fatogia. I might have butchered that. I don't know, but it's 1.2 grams. This right here is going to help you with your athletic performance and your endurance overall. So if you are one of those guys who are struggling with getting your endurance up, you might want to try this. And obviously, you know, if you have better testosterone or more testosterone, shall I say, you're going to have increased strength, increased power. It's going to help you have better workouts and you're going to build more muscle over time. And I get asked a question all the time on how I'm able to shred down and still hold on to my sides and my muscle and it's simply because I do all the necessary things in order to keep my testosterone up and even increase it. So like results that you'll get from taking a product like this is like increased libido. So I'm always already taking libido vitamins to help me keep I was going to say to help me keep it up, <laughs> but just in general, help me keep my testosterone levels up. And so that's what another thing that's good about this right here. More testosterone is also going to help you recover faster. So I do recommend products like these. I'm going to try it out for myself and I'll give you guys a nice monthly 30 day testimonial. But that's all that I have right here. So new products from Raw. You guys know X Factor is the code. So go stock up now. All right, so I'm drinking 25 grams of calls right here. This right here is the intro workout. So I'm trying something new. This is my first time actually consuming an actual intro workout. So a lot of Himalayan pink salt in here. It's obviously gonna be good for the pump, but the energy and all that. Actually, if you're watching this video, you see right now, I probably already explained it. Push date. Right, y'all so we are grabbing on to the so let me take out some 
All right, y'all, so the weight today was down to 182. So I'm losing weight. I don't really want to lose weight, but I am. And the calories are pretty high right now. So coach said I can get a cheat meal tomorrow. So normally, I'm a coach. So normally when you say you can get a cheat meal, that means you about to change something in the diet. And normally it's cutting carbs. So while we got the carbs in us, I'm gonna go ahead and keep trying to push for strength. So I got the 120s right here. We're gonna try to rep it out. <laughs> like my man's back there. Y'all probably can't even hear him. Let's see what we can get. I try to keep it contained a little bit. <laughs> All right, so I think that was eight. I grinded out that last one. So I'm gonna do another set of the 120s. I'm gonna rest for about three minutes, get another set. And I'm gonna just drop it back down. I'm gonna raise this bench up for the incline so we can hit that upper shelf. All right, y'all, let me give y'all something to go home with. I need y'all to try this out in your next push workout, next chest day. I need you to come right here. I need you guys to squeeze at the bottom right here. Really getting that upper chest, but see that squeeze I'm getting like that? Instead of going like this, like this, look at this. You're really trying to get rid of the man boobs, lift up them titties. I know y'all is, come on. That's how you do it, right here. Get a decent weight. Underneath, just like that. Uh. Make your pinkies touch at the bottom, just like that. Ooh. 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 
All the way to failure. Just pop. That right there, that's how you're gonna lift that chest up. All right, y'all, let me put y'all on game for all my little chest dogs out there. Hey, it's okay. I used to have a small chest too, man. You gotta start somewhere. This is what I did when I first started lifting weights. Push-ups, right? I take the J's off, cause I don't wanna crease up the J's. Still my favorite ones all the time. Nah, I think that, I like the breads more. I might like the breads more cause I like red, but these two, cool grays. Anyway, that's not how you build a bigger chest. The Jordans ain't it. What I need y'all to do is focus on your push-ups. So after my chest workout, I'm going ahead and knock out 100 push-ups. These 100 push-ups, all those gonna target some of the back, it's gonna target the triceps, some of the biceps, forearms. It's gonna target all of that, shoulders even. But for the most part, you wanna make sure that you're getting up there and squeezing that chest and really getting that blood flow. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock out my 100 push-ups. I don't know what you're gonna do, but I recommend you start incorporating your push-ups at the end of your workouts. Now what I recommend is you do either four sets of 25 or even five sets of 20. You can even do 10 sets of 10, whatever works best for you. But I just recommend you get it in. Alright y'all, I'm back home. Here is the post-workout meal. We got chicken right here, boneless skinless chicken breast, chopped up, cut up in nice, delicious pieces. 
chefed up by the queen so y'all know it's on point and then i gotta finish this nasty asparagus i'm never doing this again oh it looks so terrible so it doesn't taste as bad as it looks but it's not good i like my asparagus a lot more tough than this so that asparagus right there is actually frozen it was in an air fryer bag they were like hey just throw it in the air fryer for i think 10 minutes 10 12 minutes i did that and it came out like that so nah don't do don't do that don't air fry your vegetables or at least don't air fry your asparagus. I actually haven't tried all the vegetables, so I don't know. But I know grilling your veggies is pretty legit. And I know pan searing your veggies is very legit. I know broiling your veggies is very legit. Air frying the veggies, those veggies right there, nah. But anyways, me and the queen are about to head to the movies, y'all. We're going to go see Bad Boys 4. I heard a lot of great things about it, man. So we got to go see what it's about. And so that's what we're doing. I'm the type of guy who doesn't put a shirt on until it's time to walk out the door. Because I don't want to mess it up. I don't want to get all the wrinkles and all that kind of stuff. I get a little bougie like that with my shirts. But anyways, I'm going to show you guys my popcorn hack. If I haven't shown you before or if you haven't seen any of my videos, I have a popcorn hack. And I need to show you that. So let me go ahead and whip up my post-workout meal, which has no carbs because all the carbs are going to be in the popcorn hack. So stick around. Next clip, popcorn hack. All right, you guys. So let's do the hack. So this is all I do. I grab some rice cakes, take the rice cakes, open them up. I take one, two, three. Each rice cake has eight grams of carbs. So that's 24. I go like this, crunch it up, right? Crunch it up like this. Now it's not a lot, guys. It's just like a small bag of popcorn. It's not gonna be a lot. Crunch it up like that, not too much. And the reason why you wanna crunch it up too much because you don't want a whole bunch of small pieces like that. You pretty much want pieces like this, if not a little bigger. And then I take some butter sprinkles right here, just like that, and voila. Quick, easy, got a nice little hack. And so what I'm gonna to need to do is store them in here, sneak them into my wife's purse, and now I have something to chew on throughout the movie. Obviously not throughout the movie. I obviously only eat it like at the beginning 